welcome to my channel please remember to subscribe down below and hit like button if you like this video this is just a general video about what my day basically looks like every day it all depends on if I have additions or meetings I have to go to or if I have to fly around the world with Jock that is playing rugby everywhere but yes this is basically what I do every day what I eat beauty products that I use and yeah I'm just inviting you into my life for a day I hope you enjoy this and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this I usually wake up around 6 6 30 in the morning morning guys mm. then I get up and I try to drink a liter of water that was what was left from last night and then I get up ready to go I go to the bathroom and do all my things brush my teeth and go on to social media <laughs> I jump right back into bed and go on to Facebook Instagram Twitter see what's happening in the world this is also a time where I pray and spend time with God. I love this from Dermalogica. The Hydra Mist makes me feel fresh before I go to gym. And I like the Acti Moist. Active Moist, sorry. This top I got from Cotton On. I just love the back of this. And then my shirt I got from the gym movement X I will be running in my Essex today and this cute little hairband pink is from Victoria's Secret in Edgar's Menlin this is my go-to hairstyle when I'm really lazy and I haven't done anything with my hair I usually put my cap on New York Yankees and I'm ready to go I try to work out three to four times a week Training in water is the best way to go. I got this cute little towel from Cotton On. I just loved it and it's got a little zip. I can literally walk to gym. This is what Movement X looks like on the inside. It's such a great training group with an awesome vibe. To work it, I take Ultra Flora Balance for my gut, some pH balance that I got from Diskem and my favorite Zeolites. It is negatively charged so that it can take out all the de detox out of your body. I take this before meal. Then I have a bath with my Lush product. That is handmade bubble bath. The glitter on it is algae, so it goes back into the ocean. This is also from Lush, just some minerals that I have put into my water so that I can soak and relax a bit. I have Dermalogica Ultra Calming Face Wash and the Gentle Exfoliant. I also like the Multi Vitamin Power Firm from Dermalogica. They are cruelty free, they do not test on animals. That is why I love this brand. Oops. The Body Shop's Coconut Flavoured Body Butter is my favourite. To put my rocket oil on my hair every day as I have naturally dry hair. I put this on my hair and my Strands of Love extensions. It also protects your hair from putting heat on it. I use my GHD hair straightener just to straighten out the top bits of my hair. I do not go over the bottom parts because I will be curling my hair today. Please always use heat protection, especially if you have blonding. Vaudry, yay, this is my favorite. I call it my wand, my magic wand. You have beautiful curls literally within 10 seconds. So you just twirl it around the wand and you leave it there for 10 seconds. There we go, and voila, beautiful curls. Before I put on my makeup, I take this Lye Lash Lash Serum that I got from Divine Spa and Beauty in Pretoria East. If ever you're in Pretoria, book with them. Their details are on my website and on my social media. Love this product. Now, 
this is the brush that I will use to put on my base. I don't really want to mention the name of the cover that I'm using here, but it is MAC. Unfortunately, they do test on animals. I am in the process of clearing out my cupboard and going cruelty-free vegan. This slanted brush is what I will put on the bronzer. Two-faced. I got this on Amazon. They are cruelty-free vegan and it smells like chocolate. It's a beautiful product. I absolutely wish I could get in more products from Too Faced, but unfortunately I could only get the bronzer and the mascara. If any of you have any ideas on vegan beauty products, please let me know, because I am in dire need for some more beauty products. I use this brush for my blush. Just put it on the apples of my cheeks. Once again, I'm not gonna mention the brand for this, because it is animal tested. Oh yes, I forgot to put some more bronzer on my nose. I like to contour my face a little bit with bronzer. This product, yay, wet and wild. I got this at Clix. It is a vegan product. It, they do not test on animals. And I like to use the brown color on the palette from Wet and Wild to just color in my eyebrows a little bit. I do tint my eyebrows and I do have naturally thick eyebrows and long lashes, but hey, a girl can always need a little bit something extra. <laughs> and then I just cleaned out this mascara brush and then I just blend in the color and brush my eyebrows the way I want them. And then I also got this from Wet n Wild. It's an eyebrow gel to keep my eyebrows in place. Yay for Too Faced Cruelty Free Mascara. It is better than Sex Mascara. That is the name of the mascara. I add a few coats of this. There we go guys, my outfit for today. Yay. If I'm not going for auditions or flying around, I usually catch up on some admin. And at the moment I'm planning my wedding, so I'm just checking my diary to make sure that I did everything I needed to do. I can be quite a perfectionist. But I am trying to enjoy myself doing this. I'm very naughty. I didn't have breakfast, so I'm at Kauai. <laughs> I ordered myself a kale and spinach smoothie and some delicious food, broccoli, brown rice, quinoa, all the yummy goodness that my body needs. I am a vegan, so I eat often. Poor Jacques is in hospital and he felt like some fruit, so I just stopped by Willie's to get some food for him. And I also got myself some yummy food again. Just look at that view on my way back home from visiting Jacques. Remember to drink lots of water during the day, guys. And this is my go-to meal when I'm really tired. Roasted vegetables, they're so easy to make. P.S. That red velvet cake is a vegan cake. Who said vegan is boring? Then I just pop this on a cooking tray. As easy as that. I just stir the veggies around so that I can add some salt and pepper to it. I don't really add a lot of herbs and spices to my food. But I do like to add some pepper. And then pink Himalayan salt. It is better for you. Uh, it's much better than table salt. <laughs> and I usually do add some mushrooms or rice, brown rice, quinoa, potatoes. If Jack is around, oh yes, and I love this, chili and garlic. If Jack is around, he'll usually add some meat to his food. So whatever I make, he just adds meat. And as easy as that, now pop it into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. We have a beautiful, healthy, cooked meal for the evening. Now it's just the waiting game. <laughs> and that was it. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. The next video I would like to do for you guys is a little tour around our apartment here in Umschlanga. Let me know if you would like to see that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Bye!